Also, wir sind nicht alleine auf diesem verregneten Platz. Und jetzt kommt Esteban Servat, der hat Ecoleaks gegründet. Ähnlich wie Wikileaks ähm, arbeiten sie mit Whistleblowern zusammen. Und es geht hier um ökologische Verbrechen, die von Staaten und von Unternehmen begangen werden. Esteban Servat von Ecoleaks. Next up is Esteban Servat from Ecoleaks, which is an organization that he founded and that is concerned with ecological crime and also using whistleblowers to get their information. Thank you. Let me know if not. My name is Esteban Servat. Thank you very much for the invitation. And I'm really glad that this event is taking place to support Julian Assange when everywhere else his case is being silenced and he's lingering in prison. Um, I am from Argentina, but since a year and a half ago I've been living in Germany because I had to go into exile from my country after creating EcoLeaks, inspired by Assange's work and WikiLeaks, um, because we got some secret documents revealing contamination of the water tables in my region by fracking operations. So we created Ecoleaks in a very South American fashion, very basic and uh, lacking the technology, but we had the urgency to, to publish this information. And it was extremely powerful. It created a, a revolution and tens of thousands of people took to the streets uh, to demand the end of fracking. And we really brought together a huge resistance movement that also turned me and many other people into the targets of the government persecution and the weaponized uh, the justice system. So I became the person in Argentina with the highest number of criminal cases against me for fighting fracking. They did endless operations, including planted drugs in our farm. Uh, I was actually building a, a self-sustainable community. We were beginning a project, an eco project there. And uh, they did a lot of things to, to try to drive us away or to put me in jail or defame us to break down the movement. So any time that you confront this powerful interest, you can expect that um, it, would be, it would be an exception to the rule if you don't get attacked like this. And of course, uh, my story is very small and tiny compared to what's happened and what's happening to Julian Assange, who has become a, a beacon of freedom of the press for the world and probably has done more than any other human in history for freedom of information and for journalism, launching what is really a revolution. So um, I am very concerned that uh, his case is going into silence and into being forgotten. And uh, I want to say that our story is just one small example of the tremendous impact and influence that Julian Assange has had in history and in people all over the world. He has said once, um, when I'm no longer here, everyone else must take my place. I think we all carry the responsibility. Anyone who can we, uh, blow the whistle on any information around the world needs to have the courage that Assange has inspired us to do. You know, this contagious courage that he for at least has inspired in me to take on these actions. But uh, now I would like to say that all of these demonstrations and um, exhibitions and, and speeches that are being given around the world in support of Assange here and there are very good and very important and, and they have a lot of value, but I'm afraid that they're not enough. We will not uh, be able to get Assange out of jail and out of the hands of the, the world's biggest power in history the U.S. where they want to extradite him, unless we do something disruptive, unless, unless we do something that might involve civil disobedience, uh, something like what we are doing with the climate movement. Uh, we're continuing to fight this fight from Europe against fracking and working with a lot of climate movements, doing uh, peaceful, nonviolent civil disobedience actions, which have a lot of impact. So I would simply like to suggest that we we start thinking about that and I see a lot of famous people that have a lot of influence around the world who like to talk about Assange and, and they show their support for him. Well, I think that uh, we need a little more than that. And I think that maybe these people who have the fame and the influence, they, it would be great if they would put themselves on the front line 
and they would lead uh, a global day of action for Assange, where we do something that can actually bring some impact, that can actually make it into the media and revive the public support for him that has been lost through years of character assassination. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much.